Alright guys, Simon here, we're playing Minecraft and it's quantity surveying time. So the last time we did a quantity survey for anything was for the fireworks project with the uh, TNT and the obsidian and whatnot. So if you don't know or if you forgot, quantity surveying basically means counting how much stuff you need for your project. It's something you do in real life for real life architecture projects. But there's also something I do here in Minecraft when there's a big project involved. So here what I want to do is calculate how much glass and dye I'll need for the lower petals. Because, you know, I, I, I need to know that. So what I'm going to do... Um, I guess what we can do is we can calculate the area of the circle and then we can double it because of the way this thing stacks up. I'm thinking doubling it will give us a conservative estimate of how much glass we'll need. We'll end up needing less than that, but because we're also building a glass tower up here, any extra glass we can use later on anyway. So I'm going to do twice the area of the circle, times three, because there's three circles. And then that'll give us the number of glass. And that'll also give us the number of... Actually, how much dye do you need to... Let me just go to Minecraft again, sorry about this. How much dye do you need to... Uh, Die a stack of glass. Do you like one? Do you need like one die per glass block? Is that what you need? Hold on. Um, Minecraftwiki.net. I don't remember if it's one die per glass block or like one die per sixteen glass blocks or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, stained glass. I'm just looking at the uh, at the wiki here. Crafting. Oh, eight. Okay. Oh, no, no. It's one die per eight. Okay. I should uh, keep that in mind. So one die... So you, you kind of surround... So you put a die in the middle and you surround it with glass blocks and you get eight out of it. Eight, eight die block. Okay, so you one, one die for every eight block. So that's, that's kind of good. That's kind of good because we don't... I don't think we have enough die otherwise. Alright, so let's get started. So what's the radius? So the, the area of the circle is pi times radius squared, right? Pi r squared. If you guys have done your high school math, your geometry, hopefully you know that. If you don't, pi times radius squared. So, um, I forgot what the radius is. What's the radius? Should I count or should I look at my diagram? I can always just count. Or I just count the, the radius. Yeah. So this is like 1 and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42... 43, 44, 45, radius 45, diameter 90? That sounds right. Alright, radius 45, let me just eat and then get my calculator out. Again, you don't see this in the video, but let me just go 45 squared times pi equals 6,362 approximately. Ah, this is a... Uh, well, that, that's like a hundred stacks, isn't it? If it's almost 6,400. But that's only one. So that needs to be d times two. Because it's, 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 um... Oops. Because, you know, as we, as we stack these up, it's going to be like double thick a lot of the times. So we, we double it, and then times 3... Oh crap, somehow I lost the... Uh, let me do it again. 45 squared times pi times 6. So 38,170 38, approximately, that's how many blocks of glass we need. Whew, okay, let me just write this stuff down. And I should work it out in, in stacks as well, so it's almost night time. Do I have any signs left? I do. Alright, let's just grab a sign. 
And let's say we're gonna put this. Let's put this a bit further away because this is gonna be like built in glass. Lower petals. This <laughs> rose construction is alright. Lower petals. Um. So three eight one seventy glass or if we divide this number by sixty four then it's about five hundred and ninety seven stacks. Five hundred and ninety seven stacks and divide this by eight. Seventy five oops, seventy five stacks die. But this is like half of this is dark green and then half of this is light green. Or half of this is, is green and then half of this is light green. So it'll be like what is that? Um uh, my brain's not working. Thirty five, thirty thirty eight thirty eight of each color. Done. All right. So that that's our number. Uh, I don't think we have that much glass, to be perfectly honest. Let me just sleep here. Three of oh, hold on five hundred. Let me just times that by eight again. All right. Let me just go. All right. Now we go back to our base and see how much glass we have. I also have 30 levels here. I was playing around in the in the uh, mob trap before I just enchant something. I only have one silk touch pickaxe. And you know, if I make a mistake with the glass, I'll need a silk touch something to to get the glass back. So I might try to enchant more iron picks to see if I can get more silk touch tools. So that if I make a mistake, I can use that to you know, get the glass back. I... wow. Okay, 397 stacks of... oh no, 597 stacks of glass, that's a lot. Unless I've miscalculated. This is a conservative estimate, mind you, so... We might manage with less. Pretty sure I don't have that much glass. Hmm... So if we don't, then we need to figure out where else to get the glass and where else, where else to get the sand from. I mean, I've dug out this this road or this this future road. Maybe I just keep digging outwards. Maybe I just keep digging out on either side. Hmm. Or I can do some landscaping in the villages. And, uh, but that's not enough sand, even if I kind of remove all the sand from the villages and can kind of put them a nice garden around the whole village. It's still not going to be enough sand for 597 stacks. Where else can we... wait a minute. Where's my skin? Huh. That's strange. The skin server must be out gone. Like when I'm punching things, I can see the, the blue sleeve on my arm. That's not right. Yeah, I guess I just have to keep digging more sand out. If I don't have enough already. Let's see how much we have already. And then we can get an estimate of how much more we need. Because all the sand I have right now pretty much is from... Actually, I don't remember, is it? I think all the sand... Actually, no, it's not, is it? I was going to say all the sand I have right now is from that road I dug out. But that might be wrong. All the sandstone I have is from that, I know that much. I forgot how much sand I had from before. The dye should not be a problem, because 
well, at least for now, because we're using green and light green, it's just gonna be cactus and bone meal. Bone meal we can get from the uh, mob trap quite easily, and cactus we can grow quite easily, so th that's not a problem. Cactus is really just a matter of scale. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 54. There's 54 stacks there. 54. I need 11 large chests full of sand. Right now I have one, two, and a half. Okay. Okay, so I need to dig up more desert then, don't I? I have two and a half... Is that right? Like, am I doing this right? Pi R squared... 45... squared... times pi... times 3... times 2... yeah... divide by 64... yeah, okay! I need 11 full chests of sand and I have two and a half. Hmm. So the dye is, it's like, it's one, hold on, let me just see the green dye. Where is my, the, uh, the cactus to green dye is one for one, right? Let me just go to dye. Cactus green. How do you make cactus green? Primary colors. Cactus green. Make by cooking cactus in the furnace. This is one for one. This is what I want to know. It's one for one. All right. So let's um divide. How much time do I need again? Divide this by eight. I need like seventy-five stacks. Half of which is cactus. 75 stacks. Hold on. Where's my cactus? How many stacks is this again? 6 by 9, 50. So I need more than. So I need one and a half chests of cactus. So I need, okay, I need like th three times as much cactus as I have. Plus half of that. So I need like, like a. Like Maybe like two and a half chests more of cactus. And then like a... a so this is going to be easy. What's the bone to bone meal ratio? So if I put one there, there's three there. Alright, I have plenty of bone meal. I have enough bone meal, I know that much. But I think I have more upstairs. Hold on, let me just check that. Mushrooms and tea and I need to rearrange this as well. This is getting a bit out of hand. Yeah, we've got more bone meal, bones up there. I think what I need to do is to uh, combine some of these. Cactus saplings I want to keep. So the coal and redstone, I never actually get all that much. Actually, I get a lot of redstone. The torches is almost always empty. Because I, I, I just make torches when I need them. I don't actually keep them on hand. What I might do is combine the coal redstone with the, uh, with the torches and then move all this stuff over and then expand expand this so food will be one row and then the plant and animal byproducts I might separate that out into one row of plant byproducts and one row of animal byproducts I mean like these are plant products right and then these are like animal products because this is getting a bit crowded here whereas the torches are always empty, so I might do that. Anyway, that's a separate thing. I need a lot more sand. Okay, so this might this might be a, a while before the next video. Um, unless you want to watch me shoveling sand, which you probably don't. What happened to my... oh, that's a sign. Also, why do I have logs? Oh, okay, I see. I see how this is. 
Uh, unless you want to watch me shoveling sand, it's going to be a quite a while before the next video. Should we have a look at where to get the sand from? Yeah, we can just kind of cook the cook the sand in the glass there. That's that's not difficult at all. Hmm. Oh wait, let's enchant something since we're here. And uh, you want to use up the experience in case you die unexpectedly. All right, let's see what we get out of this one. So I got two and a half chests full of sand. I need eleven. That's not really all that useful, given that iron is renewable and wood is renewable. Efficiency and unbreaking is not really all that useful. What I really need is silk touch. Anyway, just put that back there. What is that? Protection 3? That's not very good neither, is it? So let's see. Uh, fortune? I haven't actually used that at all yet. I haven't been mining since I made that. Where's my... There's my Silk Touch 1. Oh, it's on a diamond pick. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, no, no, I've got two Silk Touches. On a diamond and on an iron pick. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I should have enough. So I don't need to enchant anything else. What's up, horse? Alright, let's go, go back to the desert and see where we get the sand from. We need like four times more sand or something. I mean, what I hold on this red sand. How much red sand do I have? What I can do is I can start excavating out underneath the the desert rose. Remember how I said earlier I was going to flatten that. The problem with that is I don't get very much sand out of that. I get a lot of um, clay out of that. See that that's only red sand there. There's not much glass there. No, that's not enough. There won't be very much red sand from there. It'll just be clay. So it's not really helpful if I want more sand. 